Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing my October Shop My Stash. So September is already coming to a close. I can't believe how quickly it went by, but I want to do a Shop My Stash for October. And I was inspired by my fall palette picks. I do have an everyday makeup drawer that I like to filter through products. Typically, I put all of the new products I get in there um, and I let them sit in there for a month and use them and see how I like them before putting them into my main makeup drawers. And then I also like to pull out products based on the season. So of course, since we're getting into spooky season, I'm wanting to pull out more of my spookier palettes, of course lethal is dead um so more of my like fall kind of orangey pinky red spooky vibes so if you want to see uh what I currently have in my everyday makeup drawer and what I'm taking out and replacing then just keep watching Alrighty, here's what my everyday makeup drawer is looking like it is looking atrocious um, I really think I need to move some, sorry, I just filmed my Pandas eyeshadows update, but, um, I really need to clean this out and switch up what I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and set you up on the tripod and we will take out some of the palettes and figure out what I want to use. Alrighty. It's a mood. I for sure want to continue using this this fall. I've really liked using this one. So I'm going to set that aside, but that's going to stay in. Um, let's see. What is this jeffree star mini breaker let's go ahead and put this back in the drawers i pulled it out for fall thinking i'd use it but i'm not going to um i think same with my tinkerbell color pop palette i know i want to use it some more but i just don't want to put it in my everyday makeup drawer uh lethal is dead i am going to keep this one in i've really enjoyed the looks i've created with it and i think it would be fun to keep working on it so i'm gonna keep that one um, this one I think I'm going to put in my drawers as well. This is the Lethal After Dark. I've used it a couple times um, since I've purchased it, so I think I'm ready to put this back in my makeup tower. So very lovely. I don't think I've used this one since I've purchased it, and it's been in my drawer for a couple months, so I'm just going to filter that one into my makeup tower. Um, Sonic Bloom, I think I'll keep this one out. I think I want to use a lot of these shades in my um, singles palette for the month. So I'm going to keep that one. Lush Life. I think it's safe to put this one back in my drawer. I actually really like the shade at Noni though. I might, uh, I'll use a couple of these shades in my single palette, but other than that, it's going back in my drawer. The Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters. I think I'm going to keep this one in my drawer for the month since it's like Halloween. Um, the gingerbread extra spicy i'm going to put back in my makeup drawers uh and the same with the natasha denona retro i really like this one but i think i'm going to put it back in my drawers okay same with digital playground i haven't used this one yet but i'm going to filter that one back in i think i'm going to leave my super shocks in here the princess ones uh for now because i do want to use them um, and I just haven't gotten around to it, so I will leave those in. This does not go in here. I pulled out my Bambi palette last month, and I didn't use it, so I'm going to put that back in my drawers. Um, I'm going to put my three Super Shocks in here. Pretty much everything I have in here um, is either stuff I want to work on in the season or stuff that's new. And I did use most of the Tinkerbell collection, and I liked it, so I'm going to put those in my drawers. Uh, this one, this blush, I think I'm going to leave out and try some more. And this one I'm going to put in my drawer. Same with this blush. I'm going to leave this one out. This red shadow, I actually think I'm going to leave in here as well. Pac-Man Wet n Wild. I'm going to put this back in the drawer. I pulled it out to use it and I did. So that can go back. MAC Double Gleam. And I think this is Start Inspired. Yeah. I'm going to put these back in my highlighter drawer. Uh, Dolce Vita. This one I think can stay. I like this one for fall, so that one will stay. Um, on the cusp can stay. This is a really pretty super shock. This primer I'm almost out of, so again, that can stay. Same with this one. I'm almost out of this one. Um, these, what are these? These are So Juicy lip glosses. I'm going to put these back in the drawer. Um, I don't need to use those right now. These serum blushes, I'm going to put these back. Um, and I think I'm going to leave these two fresh kisses out. I like those colors. I think those will be fun. Um, the red one I'm going to put away. That's more of a winter color. I forgot about the brow freeze. I'm going to put this away too. 
the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Lipstick. That one can stay. This I've been trying to use up so that can stay. I'm gonna put back, oh, this can stay too. I'm literally, I have like one use left in that. Um, this I'm gonna put back. I didn't use it and I don't see myself using it anytime soon. The Lethal Gel Eyeliners, I'm gonna put these back. Like this bronzer, I think I'll keep the bronzer in. So let me start putting things back in. Um, and then I have this blush from Tarte that I'm gonna put back. And then I have this one from ColourPop. I think I might actually keep this one in. So put that there. I have these color sticks. Um, and I think I'm gonna put these back in the drawer for now. Oh, this is a pretty lippy stick. I'm gonna keep this one. This one's a brown one. So I'm gonna keep that and keep on a lipstick. This one's a pretty one as well, just a neutral. These two I'm gonna put back. These are from MAC, the shades. Um, I, don't, I can't even read that with my glasses on, but this one's like a red shimmer. And then I think this one is Raja maybe. And it's like this dark neutral. Both are pretty, but I'm gonna put them back. And then I have this gel eyeliner pot that I've been trying to pan because I've had it for so long and I've gotten pretty close. So I'm going to keep this one in as well. Um, these eyeliners I'm going to go ahead and put back. Let me put all of this stuff back in. Okay, so this is what I kept in my everyday makeup basket. Let's go ahead and put my focus palettes in. These three are a little too big to fit in the drawer, so I'm going to set these aside for now and figure out what to do with them. For eyeshadow, I thought that the In a Trance palette would go good with this purple shade that I pulled into my panel's eyeshadow, so I pulled this one out. I thought that would be fun. I know I just rolled that one out of my project, but I feel like it'd be a fun one to pull in again. Uh, I also pulled in Anastasia Norvina. Again, I felt like that would go really good with those bluer tones. I'm trying to find stuff that I like to use and that will still go good with my project. Um, and then Melt Vita. I haven't used this one in a while, but I do really like this one. And especially with Halloween, it'll be good to pull that one in. And the last one is my Naked Wild West. Just a very basic neutral palette. I feel like this one is a great one to pull in as well. So, Also for eyeshadow, I pulled in these two Super Shocks. This is the shades Campfire and Like a Moss from the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie collection. These ones are really nice. For eyeliners, I just have these two. This is a dark brown one called Nocturnal from ColourPop and then Lucky, which is kind of a copper orange from Urban Decay. For lips, um, because I have a couple lip products already, I just got Clap If You Believe from the ColourPop Tinkerbell collection. Those were really nice when I used them, so I wanted to include them. And then I only grabbed a couple cheap products because I did keep a few in. So the first one is my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in shade Sunkissed. I am trying to hit pan on this one, and as you can see, I'm, I think I'm pretty close. So pulling that one in, my ColourPop Disney Villains Cruella Super Shock Highlighter. This one is kind of a white with a red reflect, and I thought this would be fun. And then also my ColourPop Blush in shade Vogue. Last but not least, the only complexion products I want to pull in are my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer and Concealer. I have shades 4N Fair and Fair 20N, um, and then my Urban Decay Hyaluronic Oh wait, what is this? Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer. This one I feel like makes me super oily. I have shade 20 Fair. Color-wise, it's a really good color match, but I feel like it's just super oily and I'm super dry. So I wanted something hydrating, but I'm not sure how I feel about this. So I wanna try it out some more. I've only used it a few times, but I am pulling these three in. So this is an overview of my everyday makeup drawer. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you are pulling into your everyday basket this month. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.